Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Redneck Day Trader. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe uh, to the channel to keep getting these, what, what I hope to be daily updates, at least five times a week. Anyway, uh, today's video is going to piggyback off yesterday's video, uh, how to control your emotions and make money in the market. Uh, so today is a great example of emotional trading and I'm going to be transparent with you. I'm going to show you uh, a mistake that I made. Now, not all YouTubers do that, but here at the Redneck uh, Day Traders, we're going to show the wins and we're going to show the losses. So I'm going to show you what I did today and what I should have done. So as you, as you know, I've talked up uh, the stock RSI Rush Street Interactive for the past week. Uh, it's been at a really good buy point and I've been averaging in. And uh, anyway, I've been averaging in as it's going lower. And the last couple of days, last three days, it's had a pretty decent size pop. Uh, so today, this is the 15 minute chart right here. This starts today. Each one of these candles is a 15 minute uh, time slot. So it opens up right here, starts to go up and then it kind of fades back. And then it takes another spike up, fades back down and then it breaks out again. So I'm still working my full-time job right now, so I don't have a lot of time to check in on the stocks like I would want to. Uh, you know, after the job ends, I'm gonna try the full-time day trading, but right now I'm having to do more of a swing trade. So, you know, every once in a while I can kind of check in and see where the stock is, and I kind of seen that the, uh, the chart looked pretty decent. So I'm gonna let it ride a little bit. So about lunchtime today, uh, I got my lunch break and I was looking and this thing was setting up here around 980 up about, I think it was almost up eight or 9% for the day. So I looked at my charts and I decided to let it ride. So I got a little greedy there. Could have easily uh, took my profits right here at this point, but I decided to let it ride. And when I looked about an hour later, yeah, I was a little sick to my stomach. So I let the greed uh, emotion take over. Could have cut right here, got out, and then bought back. And if you sold up here around 980, 985, and then you were able to buy it back around 9, that's a huge swing. Uh, now, if I was day trading this stock, yeah, that's a no-brainer to take your profits right in here and then you know wait for an entry signal to buy back in. But uh, I didn't. So I made the wrong choice today and it cost me a, a really good profit. Now I'm back. I'm still in the stock because I'm, I'm swing trading it. So I've got to wait for hopefully another bounce tomorrow and then make another decision. Uh, ultimately, I want to hold this stock a little longer until it hits back. This is the daily chart back to this 20 MA, which right now is at $13. So if we would have if we would have finished toward the high of the day, uh, then I would have hoped that we would have got another run up tomorrow. But the way this candle ended today, it's kind of indecision. So you don't know tomorrow. I mean, any day at the market, you don't know if it's going to go up or down. But uh, I really don't like the the way that candle is set up going into tomorrow. But hey, you know, you live, you learn. Uh, the market will teach you lessons no long no matter how long you've been doing this. Uh, it will teach you, you get greedy, it will smack you in the face and teach you a lesson. Uh, if you're too scared, the market will turn around on, on you and take off. Uh, so anyway, I just want to kind of share this example today. Like, like I said, not all YouTubers, all they want to show is wins. Uh, but like I said, I want to be transparent with the uh, the channel here and, and, and show you the losses along with the wins. Now, I didn't really take a loss because I still own the stock, but where I could have sold it for and where it is now, that's a, that's a pretty big difference. So uh, the key takeaway from this is, and that's why I don't hold a stock long-term. I can't do it. The emotions just get me. I, I kind of went into that yesterday. Uh, I'm all about the fast profit. I'm in and out. I, it just makes me feel better. So, you know, 80% of the time, my money's sitting on the sidelines just waiting to buy something. And then I want to be in and out of stock 
you know, in five or 10 minutes, usually if I'm day trading, but like I said, right now I'm running a swing trade to see how this goes and hopefully we can uh, get a green day tomorrow and move back, start moving back up to this uh, 20 day moving average. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you uh, tonight. And it, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would sure appreciate it. I'm actually up to 16. Now I think I had four or five new subscribers today. So thank you. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content and please, Hey, leave a comment on anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like for me to go over and touch on. Uh, like I said, I'm just redneck. I'm not professional. Uh, and I'll, I'll do whatever. So you guys have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.